Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Welcome back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Zach's Stuff. Doing a little bit of some live updates. See what you guys have been up to. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Enjoying some of that Mother's Day traditions from your home. What's up, EDC Life? Happy Sunday. Thanks for joining. Let me know what you guys are doing. What's up, Penny? What's up, Luke? Hey, Mark. Mike, what's happening? Morgan, what's up, what's up? Mitchell, what's happening? What's up, Manny? Doing a little live channel updates. Got some cool knives to show. What's up, Real Fishing? Wanna go over a couple updates to the Benchmade world. What's up, Barry? What's up, Dane? Hey, hey, Rodney. Oh, nice, you're hanging at the lake with mom. Well, wish her a happy Mother's Day for us. Pretty cool stuff. What's up, Chuck? The Swayback. You know, I haven't got a hold of the Swayback yet, so I wouldn't be able to 100% uh, give you a feedback on that that would be, I guess, impartial. Getting amped up, getting ready to record some reviews. Right on. What's up, Menace? Hey, hey, Randy. Krista's here. Nice, nice. Yeah, so... Happy Mother's Day. What's up, Slicey? What's going on, man? What's up, Dane and Mitchell? Got the new bench made that was announced the other day. The Mini Freak. What's up, See the Mansky? Not the exact replica that we we're all looking for, but pretty good. What's up, Tristan and Dane? I'm going to drop my iPad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's too funny. The biome. Yeah, the funny part is, so I'll show you guys this really quick, what I was looking at on the old Benchmade website, which is right here. What's up, Mark? What's up, Sigs of Saline? Oh, you got your rogue scales, nice. Now, if you look at those, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, I switched to the other one, hold on. If you zoom in, or if it's gonna let me zoom in, hold on here. Those scales look really familiar. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So here's a zoomed in look at just the scales. Now take a good look at those scales and let me show you some scales over here. To me, they look really familiar. And I'm hoping that they hooked up. So here's mini freak scales in G10. Yeah, Morgan, you know me. I got my bench maids on, on order. I'm trying to get one early for the channel, which would be kind of cool. So I put my request in. Sounds like it's it's being, uh, or it will be up pretty soon. I don't think we'll have much of a delay until we see that one. But those scales look pretty darn familiar to the ones that are on that new 565-1. I mean, the contours and everything. So it'd be pretty cool. What's up, Rip City? If they ended up using the Rogue Blade Works as their manufacturer for the scales, but we'll see. Maybe it was just design and, but. What's up, Deadpool? Hey, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate that. Yeah, so it's some good stuff. I mean, here's carbon fiber from Rogue Blade Works that he does for the bug outs. So he puts out some good products. So it'd be kind of cool if they used them for the scales on those. 
<laughs> I got you, Slicey. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so I got a few knives that came in this week. Um, you guys probably saw my mail call. I got a couple other ones that came in that I want to share with you guys. Uh, the new Freak's going to be hot. It's not going to be the, the true, you know, twin to the Super Freak. You know, we all like the Super Freak here, with especially putting red thumb studs on them. But I think it'll be a nice match with the red accents. It's coming with red thumb studs and red barrel spacers. So in carbon fiber, I think this will be a pretty good pair. So to me, I'm, I'm down with that. I like that. So yeah, so let's look at some of these. We have some biome here. Some biomes from Artisan Cutlery. Yeah, I saw the little Ritters. I have one on the way, so. What's up, Jersey Knife Guy? Long time no talk. What's up, Jesse? This is a slip joint by Dylan Mallory, Artisan Cutlery. And this is their blue G10. I was kind of hoping for like a bright blue Something that would match like that blue, but maybe in the future we'll get a little brighter blue. But this is kind of their blue gray. Very snappy, very slicey. I love the grind on it. Nail nicks in a pretty good location back here. So, yeah. And then this is the carbon fiber version. Now, one of the things, this carbon fiber version is kind of flat. Yeah, I might dye it. That would look pretty sick, dyeing it a little bit. What's up, Killer B? Hey, I appreciate you dropping in. So, kind of a carbon fiber laminate going on. Um, this one's smooth, whereas this one's more contoured a little bit on the G10. So, I kind of like the contoured myself on the G10, but they both feel really good, especially for a little pocket knife. Something you're going to throw in the bottom of your pocket or in your bag or something. But overall, good stuff. Pretty decent. I think they're about $37. Um, yeah. So it's good. Now, I don't know if you guys have any questions about this yet or if you've seen this. I'll give you a second. There's only been six of these made and sent out to the public. Um, I paid for it. Oh, nice, Randy. Nice. But this is a 3D printed bug out scales set. Oh yeah, I was. I want to go with the black G10 too, but I might dye mine. What's up, Jeff? Now let me get this straight. This is a uh, integral version one from Silkworm Industrial. So it's basically set to go on a Benchmade bug out. Doesn't come apart. It's all one piece. So I'm going to do a little video on it and kind of feature it in itself. Um, the only thing I can see just from first initial, I just pulled out of the package this morning. I mean, it's pretty rough overall. I mean, you can see the rough edges on some things. This is one of their first six that they've done. So not too bad. Um, it's a little pliable as you can see. Um, but the pocket clip, it's kind of a mini deep carry, but it doesn't have super a lot of tension. They did a video on their Instagram here the other day that kind of showed them bending it total out. doesn't have any creases in the, in the 3D printed material, so that's kind of cool. It holds up, but overall pretty neat. So you'll see a separate video coming. Uh, put it on probably this black one here, one of them, similar to that. You can kind of get the idea. A little bit thicker. So yeah, anyways, so that's pretty cool. So this one right here, this is made by Silkworm Industrial. Find them all on Instagram or on their website. I think it's silkwormindustrial.com. So pretty cool stuff. They just put out their first six. They're kind of doing some test trials. They want to see what they're like. So uh, I purchased them at cost and uh, yeah, we'll check it out. So we've got the Artisan Cutlery, beautiful Centaurian for review. Thanks to Artisan. I kind of want that. I, I really like this carbon fiber version, but I think that Micarta one would be nice too. What's up, Peter? Therapeutic Edge is here. Nice. Still got Slicey here. Yeah, Dane, hit the like button. So I got a little bit of milling on this, which is kind of cool. 
I don't know if you guys picked that up or not on the camera, but a little bit of milling because it gives it a little bit of texture in your hand. It's pretty nice. So very sharp, um, very drop shutty. That was just one little shake. So pretty cool overall. Obviously from a good guy, Ray Laconico, one of our, one of our favorite designers. Good stuff. Yeah, six more days till Amos's birthday. Now a couple other ones that came in. I probably showed you these a little bit, but we have did a little fun. Uh, what do you call those? Auctions? Raffles? More like raffles. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. And I got I picked up this one. You know, G10. This is the Spyderco Manix 2 in CPM M4. And I think this is the St. Nick's uh, edition, special edition. All blacked out hardware. And I've never held or used a Manix 2 until last week. So, yeah, the St. Nick version. I had it in the pair of three and I liked it, but... The scales were pretty crazy for me, so I actually swapped with uh, Stasa, and he sw switched me the uh, pair of three and the carbon fiber, so I really like that one. But yeah, so this is kind of cool, and I, I really dig the Man X2, so you'll see some reviews coming up on these. Um, another one that I picked up that I really like was um, the knife, cut was it Cutlery Knife Shop? Cutlery. Cutlery shop. Man, I'm going to mess it all up. Anyways, it's their orange version. They did an orange version. Uh, got in on the drop on that one. They did kind of an exclusive one. I know it kind of goes against uh, Slicey Dicey's. Don't want to review uh, their dealer exclusive drops or their sprint runs. But it was pretty cool. Do you think someone would pay $400 for a like new in box Benchmade Anthem? I would hope so because the Anthem is pretty sweet. So yeah, this is the Para, or no, I'm sorry, this is the Manix 2 Lightweight. Uh, right here. Manix 2 Lightweight CPM S90V. What's up, Professor EDC? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. So I got to check this one out. I was kind of hoping... I had seen they did hardware, and I was kind of hoping for a full, like, orange and black. No, Parker, I'm still looking for one of those. Man, if you guys find one, I know one popped up on eBay. It's on there right now, but I think the bidding's already at 500 bucks, and it's like, I don't know, five days left on the auction. But, yeah, if one of you guys gets a lead from one of your dealers or something on a Benchmade... 940 BK-2002, that beautiful blue G10 one. Let me know, definitely. But I really like this version. Um, there's only the problem with the hardware, you know, and the clip. I like the deep carry. So that's kind of cool. But I wanted a full, like, blacked out hardware. Hey, no worries, Mark. No worries at all. So that's one of those things that, you know, I like this texture a little bit. It's kind of that tri-way texturing they do. So you can see the little ledges in there. Kind of all centers from the their logo in the middle. Color Shops Manix 2 exclusive, yep. And that's what it is. So it's a beauty. I was bummed, though. I, I seriously wanted that full orange and black look. But that's okay. Maybe I can swap it out, see if they offer anything else. These kind of look, these lightweights, though, look like they're, they're, you can't swap the hardware out, though. They look like they're pressed from both sides. Oh, you picked up the Amalgam. Shaman and the Pair 3. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll be one of those you're stuck with them because they, you know, press them through or something. Probably pressed in pivots. So, yeah, so it's pretty nice. But so we'll see which one I hang on to. I really like the the actual shape and how it, how it carries and how it holds. Um, you know, feels pretty good in the hand overall. 
What are you guys carrying today? Sunday, Mother's Day. Do anything special, anything fun? Yeah, I'm not sure, Morgan. I'll probably put a... Uh, yeah, it's a pair to you. Yeah, I got what you're saying. I'll probably put a lynch clump on one of them. Whichever one I keep. Um, It's not too bad. But I see what you're saying, Professor. Yeah, I can see how that works. Yeah, I wish they would DLC all that stuff. Just, you know, make it a full custom one. It wouldn't take much more. Oh, I got you, Mark. Yeah. Nice. Bug Out and Leatherman. Ooh, CKF. Okay. Nice. Mini Grip. Blacked Out Military. Oh, cool. Yeah, the orange is nice. Bug Out. Yeah, right on. Yeah, my bug out carry today is actually Infidel 940. Nice, carrying PM2. Got this 20 CV G10 bug out. Pretty cool. Oh, you got the ladybug. Nice, Rodney. An excellent Mother's Day carry. Yeah, so that'd be kind of cool to complete my collection with that. Super Freak, nice. The Mediator, yeah. Got the Mediator over here. It's pretty cool stuff. Oh, uh, the freak or so I'm an access guy all out. Um, and I've been carrying this one a long time. So I really like the G10 on this one. Now this one has some smooth G10, whereas this one's more of texture G10, kind of their almost like peel ply texturing. Um, and I really like the grooves that are, that are basically milled into these handles and they're not like super aggressive. You know, so I would say the Super Freak Ergo's over the Manix 2. That's me. Now, there's no forward finger choil, but it just fits perfect in my hand. So, for me, it's Super Freak Ergo's. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, it's good stuff there. Got the Mediator. Got the mini bug out. I think I'm going to do a blade swap with somebody on a mini bug out. So I'm going to try to build my orange and black one. But I don't know if they want to do full backspacers either or barrel spacers. So I'm going to have to get some other ones. Yeah, I ordered the orange mini uh, RSK G259.7 from uh, Knifeworks. Oh, nice. Got the spider monkey. Right on. Uh, I'm not huge into the ZTs there at Rip City. I've only found a couple that's been cool, and they were kind of a little hot and cold with some reviewers and other stuff uh, when I was first looking into this. So I'm like, man, I'm not going to invest my money if they're going to try to go after people. But sounds like they're getting a little bit better. What's up, Chris? Yeah, their mill G10 is pretty cool. So I really hope the you know the the new mini freak in carbon fiber um, is I'm sure going to be as good as it looks. It's really good. And then of course that Tangu flipper is coming out, so that'll be nice to get on hand. Thank you. Appreciate it, Jesse B. Welcome, welcome. Trying to get some get a knife out of the bag I have here. Going crazy. Yeah, so what's your guys' uh knife that's on your list for the next month or so? Yeah, Rip City, I'm still looking for that blue 940, that new one. I had a couple people send me some leads, which is pretty cool, but um most of them kind of fizzled out, so kinda of hoping I get uh it'd be cool just to get one for the collection, you know what I mean? I mean, I'd love to get two, but you know how it goes. They're hard to get. I mean, I got two of the Super Freaks. The Jade Super Freaks. Those were dealer exclusives, same way. I got two of those, but two different places. But the Wii Mini Buster, nice. 
Yeah, that blue 940. Oh, you got a biome. Yeah, Barry, it's available for sale on the Artisan Cutlery website. That's where I picked mine up. So I just ordered straight from them. Shipping came from China, so that's the only thing that you'd have to know. But it was pretty fast shipping, actually, from China. I think, I, I'm guessing they just drop ship them. They have them ready to go there and just send them out. I think I got mine within five days or something like that. It was pretty fast. So came via DHL. Yeah, Chad, I saw that one. It's like 500 bucks right now. So I don't know if I could spend 500 bucks on that one. So I think MSRP is like 250 on that one. I mean, I wouldn't mind paying a little extra for it, you know, just to get one. But oh, yeah, the Protect Malibu Cody is so nice. Got an Elementum and a Banter. Oh, yeah, the Banter I'm waiting for. That's next month. We should be seeing that. They said June, even with the delays. So. Oh, you got your Nata 5 lightweight. How do you like that, Menace? Yeah, I'll have a mini Ritter here this next week, hopefully. So I placed an order for one. Said it was shipping, so. Skaha, right on. Yeah, the Malibu's nice. I I fondled one at uh, SHOT Show. It was pretty nice. I was trying to get one because they sold like some of their you know prototype ones they had, but they went away from it, so I'm like, dang it. Yeah, the last one, I think Chad went for like 610. So that's just a lot, you know? But I mean, if you wanna be one of the first ones to get them, I guess that's what you gotta do, right? But to me, that's like buying a couple knives or buying a gold class knife or Oh, yeah, they're going to do some titanium. That'll be nice. We got SC6. Nice. I say SA, SA, SE, SE, SA, SE. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you'll carry them more. Okay, you like them a little more. It's all about the clip, you know? It's all about the clip carry. You know, I'm I'm still having a hard time with this one on being a milled milled clip it's beautifully milled just like the scales what's up me with knives but it's just hard because i'm used to you know that deep carry clip all the time we got a shaman that's cool on the mini bug out get the mini clip what's up glock by my side hey thanks for stopping in so yeah, those are the ones I really like. So it's hard, you know, like this one for me, it's the strongest one they make, right? The split arrow, it's the strongest one they make by design, but it's the hardest one for me to carry with because so much sticks out of the pocket. You know, you're looking at that much of your knife sticking out of the, out of your pocket. And when I'm at work, it's, you know, how it's not bad if it's like a darker colored knife that kind of blends in with the pants I'm wearing or something. But if it's a brighter colored knife, like if this orange one was sticking out that far or something, which, you know, obviously it will, you know, it's going to stick out that far. That just draws a lot of attention, unneeded attention, which, you know, they kind of know I'm a knife guy already, but give them that reason, you know? Yeah, the, the Centauri is beautiful. So, no, oh, that makes sense, Menace. Yeah, deep carry is the best way on that. And I like how they did it with, so now this is the other thing I didn't understand. So you have your deep carry on your Manix 2, and then your deep carry on your pair, you know, this is the lightweight Manix 2, this is the lightweight pair 3, but there's your deep carry differences. Yeah, the bug out clip I've actually put on quite a few knives, some 940s and some other stuff. Have I checked out Adrian's new website? Like damn design, new website, new logo, all that good stuff. Cause that's cool stuff. Yeah, that's what I didn't understand. Like why they wouldn't go with, like if they're going with a wire clip, why they wouldn't make it a deep carry one. That was just weird to me. But it is what it is, right? It is what it is.
Oh, yeah, Professor EDC. Yeah, I saw you on there, too. Yeah. No, I appreciate the response. Hey, what's up? What's up, Ray? Everyday City Carries on here. Yeah, it's your boy Ray. The NYC. Mr. Quarantine. Quarantine Ray. No, it's not a deep carry, but I was thinking, like, why wouldn't they just put one on there? I know they're not a huge fan of the deep carry clips, but... To me, it was just baffling because I'm like, you know, why would you have such a bright knife and you want sticking out? I guess maybe if you're going hunting or something, but on bright colors, I'd like to just, you know, have that option, which, you know, it looks like for the, the way it's, it's made, you could get a deep carry and put it on there. One of their wire ones. Uh, in the butt. The butt of the knife. Slipperiness. Well, this one's all plastic and slippery. The lightweight is. Uh, the butt of the knife. This one's not as bad. Because you're getting a little bit of the liner as well. But you don't get the texture like on the sides. So there's no texturing on the butt of the knife here. Hey, what's up, Ray? Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I got to jump back on. I saw you had... Uh, Nick Shabazz on, on the old EDCCP podcast. Oh, so Peter, you just have to, I'm not huge on Spyderco. I mean, I'm just getting into that stuff, but you know, I've had some of these for a while. So basically you're just saying, I just got to get another clip. It's kind of standard. It's like, if you get a split arrow on these, you're like, all right, I just need to get a deep carry or a mini bug out or something on it. Metal complex tomorrow. Oh, good luck, dude. I want to see who talks the most. <laughs> you might have to fight him for some of that. He had quite the live going last night, so. Oh, Adrian Australia has a new website. Oh, I haven't seen his new website. I've just been looking at his uh, eBay stuff. Oh, okay. I'll look at Peter. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll look at uh, MXG site for them for some of their clips. Yeah, I want to be back on there. That'd be fun. Oh, Jade, you got it for your military? Okay, that's cool. That's good times there. Yeah, we've been having a little bit of a heat wave here in Oregon, which is kind of crazy. So, one of those things where all of a sudden it's like 89 degrees yesterday and like supposed to be 86 today, and then tomorrow is going to be, you know, mostly rainy and maybe 70. So, it's just hot and cold, hot and cold all over. So, oof. That one shot out. Yeah, I'm trying out the uh, the Groove watch bands. Hasn't been too bad. Has the patterning on the inside. It's been all right, but still doesn't, you know, it's lighter weight than the, even the Apple ones, but it doesn't breathe as much as the uh, other ones that I was using, the Apple Nike bands. Those are breathing more. Yeah, I love the Lynch clips. Menace, we miss you too. No, oh, Spirit, it's cold and rainy there. I'm sorry. Oh, it snowed? Holy cow. 37. That's insane, man. 30 degrees Celsius. Cadence, holding it steady. Holding it steady, holding it steady. So we got some of those knives out of the way. I have a few others. Let's see here. A few others I want to look at. Spirited's in the house. I don't know. Hopefully you guys have all seen the purple mini I did. We'll show it off a little bit. Freeze warning, holy cow. <laughs> Spirited, that's a fabulous knife. Let me just tell you that. It's kind of like, so it's kind of like the version, I'm gonna get rid of one of these and put them off to the side here. So it's kind of like the deal where, you know, I don't know if you saw my Instagram, but I was able to hold and play around with one of the 
the new Benchmade 940s, the BK-2002. And I was like, oh my gosh, it just makes me want one that much more, you know? And I'm like, holy cow. So some cool, yeah, I, I can't wait for the Mini Freak. So the mini, the new Mini Freak, the carbon fiber S90V. I'm really, like I said, I really hope they went with uh, Rogue Blade Works for the scales because that would be super awesome if they did because they're pretty much the same shape as these. If you look on the website, these are his G10 version. And I have the carbon fiber version ones of the Mini Freak, but it's, uh, I think it's in the other room. I'll look. Yeah, MSRP is 310. I'm, I'm guessing if they went with the scales from Rogue and then they did the S90V and all that, that's probably why the higher price, I'm not sure. And I think it still even comes with the split arrow. I don't. I. I could. I. I have to look really quick. I can't remember if they went with the mini bug out or the mini mini deep carry or not. But really hope they went with the the rogue. But I mean, here's some rogue G10 in purple, which is just beautiful. Yeah, I mean it'll totally be worth it. You know, I mean to me, like I said, the mini super or the mini freaks. They fit perfect, and they're a little bit bigger than the mini Griptilians, and that's what I like about them. So, yeah, this one looks really good. The only thing I'm going to do with this one is it has a gray blade on it with gold accents. Yeah, that's a good price on, on Blade HQ. And so I'm thinking about switching these scales to one of the black ones. So it's more of a black with purple than a gray with purple. Because I think the accents would look really good if we ended up doing kind of like, well, these I have the black barrel spacers for these. So kind of building a different one and just putting a black blade on it. I think the black blade with even a black thumb stud or purple thumb stud, get a purple thumb stud from Adrian or something, will look pretty sweet with this one. So kind of want to alter the build a little bit now that we have the, the CF Elite version out of the bug out so you can get some darker hardware and then this is the purple mini that i built I have a video on that which is pretty cool uh which one's expensive professor uh i think the scales on these were 80 bucks 85 bucks maybe for these g10 scales uh direct direct from rogue blade works but he's also selling them on uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Uh, oh, the mini bug outs. I think the mini bug outs were for the black and white was running about 160, I think, from Benchmade, and the other one was 145, something like that. Um, I'll have to look at prices in a second, or one of you guys could, real quick. But yeah, so it took the purple really well. So it went from it went from the white mini bug out up here to this beautiful purple. What's up, Tom? And the purple just took amazing. So really happy with how it turned out. I'm probably gonna do that swap on the one. I have somebody sending me out over uh, one of theirs to swap the blade out. And so I'll probably put the black blade and black hardware on an orange one so I can do a full orange and black combo. But I might have to paint the, the barrel spacers or get some barrel spacers maybe from a different knife. And purple's pretty sweet, so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy with the way that purple one turned out. Definitely. And let's see, Spirited asked me, do I prefer G10 carbon fiber or micarta scales for your bug outs? Oh, that's tough. So I would say right now, hey, Ray, thanks for joining, man. We'll talk to you later, man. I appreciate it. Okay, the Stormtrooper mini bug out was 135 on Blade HQ. Okay, yeah, I was sorry. I was going off of the Benchmade prices. Those are the ones I always look at and remember. So here's basically my two favorite scales that are aftermarket, let's say. Because you get into like the ones they make and it's like, you know, I really like the G10 that they put out on this one, but not everybody liked the jade and blue with the butterfly, you know. Um, but I also like the bug out they did with carbon fiber and C-Tech. So, 
But this one, the one on top, is from Death Grips, and that's Black G10 and Micarta inlay, which is beautiful. And then... This is the carbon fiber. Uh, I think he calls it the carved design scales. Oh, you have them blacked out. Nice. So these are probably my two favorite. And if I had to choose one, oof. I, if I had to choose one for like EDC type stuff, what's up, Rising Tide? I would say carbon fiber because you can do more things with it, get it wet. It's not going to take as much damage as the Micarta would. Uh, Micarta is going to, you know, wear a little bit. Like you can see a little bit of wear through here even on the Micarta just from in and out of the pocket carrying and stuff. So, but that's what it's made to, it, you know, it's designed that way. It's made to do that. So either way, pretty cool. Yeah, the red and black one's pretty cool. The only thing I would do different is change this to a black blade as well. But... Yeah, the aftermarket thumb studs I've been getting come from Adrian, um, who runs Triple uh, X Adrenaline Triple X on Instagram and his own website. It sounds like he's got up and running now. So, so it's pretty cool. He's got an eBay store and all that, which is pretty nice that you can link through his uh, Instagram. And his Instagram is kind of spaced out. It's like X underscore X underscore X. Underscore. Uh, anyways. If you message me, I'll send you a link to it. He's got a Australian eBay store, so kind of cool. But yeah, there'll be some different bug out modifications that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little video together on that, kind of showing off these uh, integral scales from Silkworm Industries that they built, and this is all 3D printed. So they make it with or without the clip. I said with the clip because I want to try it out. But we'll see. Yeah, Amos got a bug out. He's got a nice, nice original blue bug out, laser mark for him. But that's one of those things that, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, it's it's gonna be thick through here. I can tell that. And then I'm not sure on how the clip will hold up, but 3D printed material is not too bad. I mean, you know, it'll flex. So we'll see how that holds up too, because you know, it's all one piece in the back, but hey, Peter, I appreciate it. Happy Mother's Day. Tell Christine we said hello. What's up, Lion Knives? Oh, yeah, the shipping takes a little bit, especially with customs now. It takes two to three weeks, I think. What's up, Max? Hey, Justin, OCD for EDC. How's it going? We're just looking over these uh, silkworm industrial integral scales that he printed. I bought a set of them. He made the first six. All right, Professor ADC. Appreciate you joining. Have a good video. So it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how all this feels. So. Oh, they are okay. Yeah, it, uh, the, the only thing that scares me is that clip, just because it's so flexible. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'd like to, I, I want to finish them off a little bit more, sand them down and stuff. There's really, as you can see, all the, the ridges and stuff, but it's kind of how they built them up. There you go. Hopefully that focuses a little bit. Yeah, so that's good stuff there. Yeah, a lot of his eBay stuff does ship for free usually. It's all usually included in the price, but. Yeah, one other thing I do want to mention, they still have a deal going for all of us, southernedgeknifeworks.com, 15% off if you use Zach15. If they don't have it in stock, message them, he'll order it for you. And it's free shipping in the U.S. on top of the 15% off. I don't get any kickbacks. It goes straight to you guys. The only thing he does is send me some knives out to, you know, review. And I ship them back. So, pretty cool stuff. And, yeah. SouthernEdgeKnifeWorks.com. Pretty cool people over there. Doing it with a few channels, which is kind of cool. Gives everybody an opportunity. 
Thanks, Justin. What's up, Bony Blades? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's cool, Kai. Uh, so the maker of the integral scales is Silkworm Industrial. You can find them on their website or on Instagram. They printed six test scales, I guess, or first run. Pretty rough first run, but it's the first run. And so I said, yeah, let me buy a set. I'll check them out. Be good for all the other ones. I'm not on Blade Forums. Not yet, Max. I don't have the time. <laughs> I should, but I don't have the time. Got pretty busy going with YouTube and with Instagram. Have a little bit of Twitter going. Myself and Ray there. No, that's pretty good. All right, Jeff. Take care, buddy. Gonna get to raffle here in a little bit. Kind of a raffle giveaway. Not a really a raffle, but a giveaway. Now, the reason I say that is because we had something happen. And that was my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So one of the cool things was, is, you know, your guys supported my channel. I was able to pick up some pretty sweet knives. I got a mini bug out, a regular bug out, and a 940-1501, the Knifeworks exclusive. Was awesome. Uh, did some giveaways, all that good stuff. But the bad part was, nobody claimed one of them. The other two got claimed right away, perfect, right on. Um, so, what I'm going to do, yeah, I know, huh, Amos, is show you what didn't get claimed. And what didn't get claimed was, what's up, CK? This bug out, the new blacked out version, as, as well as, so here's the actual knife, still brand new, waiting. I mean, it would look great if I put them on these scales, but you know. So nobody claimed this one. Also comes with some hardware from our buddy Adrian down in Australia, some green hardware to liven up that black bug out. A beautiful Koi Hank from our buddy JD, Shadowborn Hanks. Thank you, my friend. And, of course, the guided field sharpener from Benchmade that I wanted you guys to try out, just like this one. So, yeah, so that didn't get claimed. So, you know, a lot of times people watch a video and they put in for a giveaway, and I guess they don't come back and look and see who won. Um, to me, that's kind of the thing, you know, is if you leave, a, you leave it, you should, you know, come back and get it, so... I want to do something a little different and see how it works today. I usually, you guys, you guys know, I always do a giveaway during my live streams. Um, what's up, Drew? Welcome, buddy. Yeah, I know, it wasn't claimed. So I want to basically do a giveaway. I want to re-give that away. But I want to do it to those of you who are watching live. Because I want to give you that support for jumping in with me right away. So... Yeah, so one of the things I'm gonna do, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna take a little bit longer to figure out. You guys know there's always the the potential for controversy, controversy going on. Yeah, it does look like a bottle opener, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be bummed out. But you know, the thing is I gave them till last Monday and here it is Sunday. So it's almost been a week past when I gave them to claim it. So I don't feel bad. You know, is what it is. Those are the rules. Done. So in this piece of paper right here is going to be something that I've written down. It's a number. Yeah, exactly. There you go, Bony Blades. Yeah, shipping would be cheap. Just right down the highway. So I'm going to do something a little different. I know in the past we've always done like as many guesses as you can get. These are some other awesome scales that... Hopefully we'll see some more of here soon. His shop got closed for uh, all the virus protection. But this is Bashy Designs. Titanium. Pretty amazing stuff. 
But anyways, back to the giveaway. Now you guys are watching live. And one of the things I want to do is give back to you guys. And what I've done is written a number down here. Now this number is between 1 and 500. I know that's a lot. It's a big spread. And there's about 50 people on here right now. So pretty good odds. Now obviously people aren't going to be able to probably guess the right one. Don't guess now because it won't help right now. Um, but these are really nice scales. And one of the things I want to do is basically see who can get the closest. Now, what I will do is I will put a <clears throat> start on the screen. And once you see that, everyone's only going to get one guess. So that's going to be the, the differential on this. Everybody can play that's watching right now live. Uh, if you're watching after the fact, sorry, they've been given away. Um, that's how I chose to do this one. My apologies, but is what it is for today. Wanted to change it up. Wanted to recognize people that are watching live right here that click on that little notification, sign up for it. Um, yeah, so that would be the, the question. Closest without going over or just closest in general? Now, for me... I'm going to say closest without going over. But let's say that somebody's like, I don't know, within 20. And the next closest person's like 100 below or, you know what I mean? Like if everybody chooses one way or the other or whatever. So I'll, I'll cover it here one more time. So what I'm going to say is whoever's the closest. So let's say I chose two and you have one and somebody has three. I'm gonna go with the under first that didn't go over. And then the person that would be one above instead of one below, obviously if it's that close and nobody guesses the exact number, then it'll be the one closest below. But if it's like the one below is one and maybe the, or maybe they, you know, let's do number two and they, they chose zero or let's do three, and they chose one, but then the other person did four, they're gonna be closest. So it's just gonna be closest in general. So that's how it's gonna go. And it may it may cause some more controversy or controversy or whatever, but I think it's one of those, uh, it should be fun. You'll get one guess. Everybody who's on here, there's 54 of you. Everybody will get one guess, and once I hit start, then I will, It'll you'll see it on my screen, then you'll get one guess. So any number between one and 500, you'll have one guess. And then I will go ahead and put a stop on the screen and we'll try to go. So yeah, any, any one number between one and 500 is written on this piece of paper right here. You'll win that prize package that went unclaimed. So pretty cool just offering to you guys that are on here live watching. I wanted to really honor you guys for just 100% support that I really, really appreciate. So once you see the start, then you can go ahead and place your one guess. I'm gonna leave it open for about two minutes once I do that. And then I will close it with a stop signs and the word stop. And we will see what we have and see who's closest. So good luck, we'll cover it again. Anybody that's on here, um, you know, watching live, you're eligible as long as you're legally able to have a knife. So don't guess right now. Wait till you see the word start from me. You'll guess one number between one and 500. One guess only. So if you make a second guess, it's going to take longer to sort it and it's going to invalidate your, your guess. So make it good. One guess. Let's get the party started. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's funny. You thought it was a Benchmade number? That'd be a good, that's, that's a good idea, but. We'll see what everybody comes up with. So we'll leave it open for about two minutes so everybody can get their guess in or when everybody's done, 
then I will go ahead and close it down. Yeah, Big Red, if you're on here, you can play as well. Welcome, welcome. Only one guess, though. And we'll see who's closest. There's 62 people on now, so I guess that's good. Yeah, so if you just joined, you can pick one number between 1 and 500 and guess it. It's on the paper here. Uh, you're guessing for a Benchmade bug out that did not get claimed in my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So feel free to drop your guess in there, Big Red, if you want. I'll close it here in just a minute, and we'll see who was closest. Yeah, I know. You've been digging, man. Digging that drain field up. I feel bad for you. Yeah, nobody claimed it. So I'm going to go back through really quick before I shut the guesses and just see how close people are. See how many we had on there. Okay, so we got some guesses in there. Right on, right on. Yeah, no, hey, you know what? And that, and also I didn't advertise I was going to do that today because I wanted to truly honor you guys for joining me live. So hopefully you guys are cool with that. Um, that's just what I wanted to do. Okay. So it's been closed. So we'll go back through. We'll see what comes up here. Let me read through the comments really quick. Talk amongst yourselves. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's all right, Jack. So I'm going to go back to where I started. And I'm going to see if anyone... First off, I'm just going to look really quick and see if anybody guessed it 100%. What's up, Adam? I see your comment in there. Hey, how are you? Oh, you're stuck at work? That's a bummer. I see somebody got really close. Um, let's see here. Somebody got really close within three. I think that might be the winner. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So I'm going to flip this over. Yeah, he, he probably smells pretty good too. Big Red does. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to show you guys what's in here. Um, 300. Now, what does that stand for? Somebody said, oh, it's a Benchmade number. <laughs> that, that is definitely a Benchmade number. It's also their address. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Always bringing it back. So, Looking at the answers that I see on the screen here in the comments, I see Ryan Pearson has 297. It's going to be pretty much the closest one I see. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back through this afterwards and just double check everything. But to me, that looks pretty darn one the closest. So, anyways, I'll go back through and double check those. But I really wanted to honor you guys for being here live. And especially since nobody claimed that other one, who better to give it away than basically you guys that are joining me live. So now I'm going to open it up for questions. If you guys have any questions, want to see any knives again, listen to me rattle the table I'm trying to fix. Yeah, you guys are very welcome. You know, it's, I'm, I'm, happy it went to somebody that's here watching you know what i mean so that's pretty cool yeah we should all go help big red dig hey you're welcome jeff but yeah so on uh, one one question that came up before was the bashy bashy design scales if he was gonna keep making them and the answer is yes like i said his shop was shut down due to the protection of virus spreading and everything with their whole county and state so 
He's hoping to get that fired back up again. Um, yeah, ADC fixed blades are coming, Max, definitely. You'll see those on the channel here soon. Lion Knives, thank you. You're welcome. OC Omega's birthday's coming up. That's good. Do I have any mini bug out scales? Jack, I'm waiting. You know, I put my request in with Rogue, and I'm waiting. So hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. You're welcome, CK. Deborah, August, you're welcome. Uh, will I sell these bash scales to you? I don't know. That's the thing. There, I mean, honestly, yeah, he is a lucky dog, Rodney. Uh, these are one of those that are like, holy cow, crazy. When you get them in hand, they just they don't feel like titanium. And the million is just, I mean, and there's just crazy million on them. And then I had him stonewash the scales. He has a couple different finishes, and it, it was perfect. So, to me, it was it was the way to go. So, I'm glad I went with it. But, yeah. Yep, yep, I'll have them. Yeah, that would be sweet, Cerakote Green, on that. All right, Max, take care. I know, we'd do a work party, Big Red. You should have let us know. Yeah, I have the Mini Freak with the carbon fiber. It's in the other room, so... Oh, right on. Justin's doing a live giveaway tonight at 8 Central. Tune into OCD for EDC. I'll try to make it. I have to work a little bit tonight, so I'll try. All right, Jade, take care. I appreciate it. Waffles. Waffles, spirited waffles. Oh, I'm glad to hear you got it all fixed. Well, now we just need to have a barbecue. I'll bring my lawn chair. I'll be six feet away. I'll bring some, some delicious meat up there we can grill up. Uh, I think these bashy scales run about 150, 160, just on their own. So just as much as the knife, basically. Uh, go to his Instagram, Bashy Designs. Go to his Instagram, Red Dog. Get signed up. Follow him. Uh, or you can follow me. I'll post him as well. But he does his, his all his updates on there. Bunzo, what knife should you carry today? 940. Or Super Freak. Or the Anthem. Yeah, it's better than FRN, definitely. I like the Manix so far. I just don't know which one I like, the Lightweight or the G10. Oh, hot dogs, right on. A little barbecue. Let us know. We'll roll down. All right, Tristan, thanks for joining. You know, I really like the I really like the Manix too. You know, one of the things I was talking about earlier, Justin, was really trying to figure out the clip. Um, Adam, yeah, I'll get to your question in a second. Um, but the clip on these not being deep carry, um, Peter was telling me I should definitely swap out and get a clip. I like the lightweight factor of this. Um, the, the thing that bummed me out was they didn't do black hardware. You know, they did it on this one down here for the clip, but they didn't do it for any of these. Oh, thanks big red for posting that. That's awesome. So... And then obviously this one's going to be heavier, but this one's obviously like, all right, Rodney, take care. Oh, thanks, Penny. Very awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Lynch, Lynch clips are awesome. Definitely awesome. Um, I like the feel of this one, the weight of it. Um, I would definitely have to get a deep carry for it. And But I don't know if I'm sold on the kind of tackiness of that G10 they have. Kind of that peel, peel ply G10 or something. I don't know what they call it, but a lot of texture to it. So for me, it's almost easier to carry this one, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find a carbon fiber version that I'll like even better somewhere. Uh, the lock tension's okay. Um, you know, there's no stickiness on either of them. This one's not as broken in as this one. Uh, seems to. This one seems to be broken in a little bit, so. I know, lucky dog. I get a build his own, so that's kind of cool. Hey, hey, Big Red, thanks, man. I appreciate the support. Definitely. Yeah, it's not axis lock smooth on those Manixes, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Oh, that's nice, Boney. Yeah, I don't get that. Like Justin, the the clips are like what makes the knife for me. So, oh, they do make custom grips for the Manix too. Okay, I'll have to look into that because I wouldn't mind keeping this one. 
but or the other one but i'd have to take this one apart and do all different hardware and stuff i don't know if it would fit so maybe the other one we'll see but yeah this one's gonna be heading out to the next reviewer in the apex pass around which i'm kind of bummed out about but i'm hoping to get this version because that million on there is just sick or the micarta version i saw the red micarta version oh my gosh Big red, holy cow. If I sold this one, I would just, you know, whatever it costs me to get here, I, I don't try to mark up my knives too much. I know it's a, a sprint run from a dealer or whatever, but I just try to sell it for about the same. I mean, I guess I could be like everybody else and sell this for like 250 bucks now or something, but that's not me. I don't like to do that, so... I like to check them out. I just got this one in. I'm like, oh, orange and black right on. And then I didn't even see that it wasn't orange and black hardware. So I'll have to see what I can do to, I don't know if they make lightweights with that that are that have changeable hardware at all. I had to watch a video. I'm sure somebody's gone, some Spyderco fans gone through and like destroyed a lightweight to see what it's all about. 325 on eBay. Maybe I'll trade for one of those blue 940s. Somebody has a blue 940 BK-2002 that they want to trade for that one. Let me know. <laughs> Might as well put it out there, right? Yeah, it was pretty decent. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, Big Red, we had a little uh, Saturday Night Live early yesterday, 2 p.m. Pacific. It was kind of cool. Got a lot of good people in there. That was fun. They don't carry the Luku, I think, because they're out. So just uh, message or email Southern Edge Knife Works, or message them on their Instagram penny, and they'll they'll get they'll get one for you, and give you the discount. So they're pretty good about that. I know the Luku sold quick. They sold really quick. So I'm assuming they like I'm hopefully they like quadrupled up the order on the mini the new mini freak because I'm gonna buy a couple of those myself. So. Oh, you got a brand new carbon fiber chaparral. I've never tried the chaparral, Kai. Oh, okay, Justin. I'll have to tune in. I'll, I'll, I may have to catch part of it after work. I'll see, because I have to work tonight a little bit, so. My, min, my limited edition mini loco. My mini loco. Oh, that one, the, the, the one, yeah, the limited edition one. I don't know. I haven't, I don't usually carry that one. You'll have to send me an email or message or something. I don't know, Bunzo. I totally forgot about that one. A lot of that stuff I just collect, you know, and then I do reviews on them. Yeah. The Python scales are sick, but yeah, that'll be a good, that'll be a good topic. Justin, definitely. I'll be tuned in for that. Oh yeah, the Presidio 2, are you, are you talking about the full size or the mini on the Presidio 2? Oh, the blade's not long enough. Uh, oh, I gotcha. The full size, of course, okay. Yeah, so let's see, let me see about the full size one. Let me see if I have it right here. I thought I had it right here. Stand by. Here you go. Full size. I love the full size and the mini. So here's the full size Presidio 2 and CF Elite. Yeah, I need to definitely carry it, Morgan. <laughs> you have Chewbacca hands. So for me, I have a large glove size hand. And that's how it fills up. And it's a, it's a workhorse of a knife, you know. And the mini, let me move these real quick. The mini is going to be, for me, I like the, I really like the size of the mini because I have a large glove size hand. I can get the whole thing in my hand and it's just that smaller carry compared. So just a little bit in the handle. <laughs> Jack. Yeah, let me, we'll talk. I've never 100% turned anybody down. 
So I guess there you can see it right there. All right, Krista, thanks for joining. Yeah, fire up that grill. Have a wonderful evening. That's awesome. Yeah, so for me, so like this is the thing that kind of got it for me. You can see like scale wise and everything, the Mini Presidio 2 is just a smidge longer than the bug out. So for me, it was just on top, like where it should be, you know, um, size wise. Now, when you look at the mini grips, the mini grips are a little smaller. And for me, they just don't work 100%. So I carry them. But now that these have come out, the Mini Freak and the Mini Presidio 2 and CF Elite, I'm like all in with these. So you'll see me with this, this one, like, well, not this one, because I'm this one that I put in my collection, but uh you know, the other one i have in my daily carry rotation stuff that's pretty good okay cool sounds good jack thoughts on those carbon fiber mini freak i'm all in rising tide i'm in i'm down for a couple of them i think it's fantastic i really hope they went with rogue blade works for the scales i mean this is some of his carbon fiber work for the bug out in the carve and if you look at I think earlier in the the show here, the design, this is the Mini Freak with G10 from Rogue Blade Works. And you can see these cutouts are almost identical to that new Carbon Fiber 565-1 Mini, Mini Freak from Benchmade. So I'm hoping they went with him as the supplier for the scales. That would be pretty awesome. They'd be made here in Oregon in the USA um rogue puts out some amazing products as you guys know so uh bunzo says what's your favorite scale material man that's hard to that's hard to say i'd say for work i like something that can get a lot of crap on it and get clean so the cf elite's a great new new design uh in the past i've always been a fan of you know just the frn that comes on the griptilian those have been great for work um, you can get anything on them. You can sharpen them. You can do whatever. These have the full liners well now. Um, uh, Norvin, I'm not sure on the Spydercos. I don't keep up a lot on that, but, um, yeah, I'll have to ask him. Usually he's on there. So, all right, Justin, grab some dinner and, uh, we'll see you on your live at eight central OCD for EDC. Uh, are the carbon fiber scales for your mini freak rogue? They are. Let me see if I can find it. I thought it was in one of my knife bags here. Hold on just a second. Yeah, I know, huh, Scott? Yeah, they're awesome, though. I'm really hoping it's the same exact scale, but there's been no official announcement yet, so I can't confirm or deny that. You know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I still have Rogue's Micarta, though, on one of my bug outs. Because that's pretty cool stuff. Oh, they're first generation. So they probably look closer to like these because I think these were the first generation ones. Yeah, I'm, gonna have, I'm looking through my knife bags right now. Hold on just a second and see if I can find that carbon fiber mini freak that carbon fiber freak but i'm excited about it i think it's definitely well overdue we could definitely use a g10 version uh, i think we could use a blue g10 version of that 940 as well um but yeah like a mini super freak to match i mean they already have the pattern material for this one, I would just say, like, match it. But maybe that's the, the, what they're doing with the carbon fiber. Because they stuck with the red barrel spacers and red thumb studs. Oh, totally, Scott. Yeah, it makes it a whole different knife. And I don't seem to have that one here. Must be in the other room. But, yeah, you know how cool it is. It's a nice, nice set of scales for the Mini Freak. So, yeah, if you look at their website rogueblademarks.com they have some sweet scales on there when they're in stock so i know he sells a lot of stuff you just have to kind of keep on there i'm waiting for he got a special deal going 
and I'm kind of waiting for that to come in so I can get some sweet scales for my mini bug out. Ooh, complete liners with flat scales. Oh. That's a good question. Because most of the ones with flat that I've seen have all been, you know, like half liners. But I'll have to look. I mean, maybe when you get into like the titanium one or something. But I know they've had texture on all their stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yep. Some of my favorites that came out of this last mail call. Really glad that I that I did this one. I may dye the scales, but I don't know if I can get the pins out on the other side. I'll have to try. The barrage does, but it's not. They have a lines cut in the barrage does to the scales and they're contoured on the edges so they're not full flat ones but the centauri man if i can get that that red micarta and it's so smooth i mean big red you can you can attest to how smooth this this fella is just a big smooth beautiful knife You don't get the slip joint? Well, I mean, you gotta like slip joints, you know? I mean, here's a bench made proper. You know? Yeah, the Macarta handle is beautiful. So here's your comparison to the bench made proper. Pretty close in size, just different blade shape. You have a little more handle on this one. but you have a little more length and handle on this one. So I like the sliciness of this one. It's super lightweight. Oh, you've never had one in hand? Yeah, you got to try one then, definitely. You know, it's one of those that it's definitely two-handed. You definitely have to do it. Yeah, the Macarta's worn definitely nice. This one feels like it needs some, some blue lube or something to work on that later. And this Macarta's turned out good. It's the Rogue Blade Works Macarta that he had. He had like a just a couple of these that he put out when he first started getting going. So I was like, yep, let's do it. So cool. Well, I'm going to jump off of here. I really appreciate you guys. Like I said, I'm going to double check and make sure Ryan Pearson was the true, true winner. But look for some of these knife reviews coming up on my channel. Look for this... Uh, 3D printed integral from Silkworm Industrial. That'll be coming up on a Benchmade build here soon. And then just thank you for your overall support, you guys. You know, it's been pretty awesome. You guys just supporting and yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait till my next milestone. I'm gonna have a milestone coming up here on my Instagram, so I'll be doing a giveaway over there. And I have a pretty epic one planned for uh, JT's Knife Life has the Give a Knife, Take a Knife going around. Um, if you haven't seen that, I know Big Red did, is doing his right now. It's pretty cool. His will be up soon. Uh, a lot of people have done them. Um, but yeah, check out JT's channel. He has a he has on his playlist all the channels that have done it so far. Pretty cool stuff. You guys have an awesome week. Do something kind for someone. Let me know what you think of my upcoming reviews because I want your guys' feedback on some of these things, especially these scales right here. So, all right, you guys, wish your mothers happy Mother's Day. Your mother's no longer with us. May they rest in peace. We honor them by doing something kind this week. You guys take care. See you next time.